After a great deal of insanity at the Citrus Bowl in Orlando, the long game travels south to the home of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Over 65,000 fans paid good money to get their seats to watch Monster Jam, the long game. Welcome back to the Walker Williams channel for this special installment of the long game. My name is Deli and with me is Jack and Trevor. Seven drivers are poised to take on this classic J-Hook style racing and tear up the track in freestyle under the beautiful night sky that surrounds Raymond James Stadium. Especially since Danny Warwolf and Executioner has been keeping his racing streak alive to the point where he's practically untouchable, these matchups that are coming up will be quite intense. I can tell you, they spared no expenses on this racing course. Danny, you just talked about him. He's going to start off in the second round here. We've got three pretty good, pretty evenly matched first round races here. Mr. Destruction and Avenger I'm looking forward to. Sudden Impact making his return going up against Tropical Thunder and Team Mints and El Toro Loco. I think that's all pretty evenly matched going into the second round. So we got some really big guys out here tonight just ready to throw down. And it's just not much to say here right now. You know, we, we got seven of the greatest drivers here. Before we get started with racing, let's see our full-on field of trucks. Danny Werwolf and Executioner has been on fire in the racing competition, carrying a hefty streak of victories. Can the streak be broken tonight? Cora Solera will be shifting gears and pilot a brand new truck for tonight called Team Mets. Will this rebranding affect his performance and possibly even cruise him towards a victory? We're going to have to wait and find out as our first lineup our first driver to line up is Developed Terran in El Toro Loco, that 2001 custom bolt concept, he is ready to go. And also comes Cora Solera in the Team Mens truck, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Team Mens El Toro Loco for round one. Man, you can, you can feel those RPMs right there, kind of the starting line. Real short chorus, uh -oh. and he's over. Man. Wow. These two had some tough luck in Orlando. Uh, I think they both rolled in racing, and it looks like, you know, the same thing's gonna kinda happen here, except Team Mens is gonna make it across the line, except for El Toro Loco. Man, that was kind of a, that was kind of a bowling shoe kind of race there. That was way too hard in the turn for El Toro Loco. Hiked it up big time, and Cora just all over the place in that turn. That mud pit you see in the middle there, that's for mud drag racing, uh, in between the racing and freestyle, and got a little bit too carried away in that. Still, something interesting to note is that Cora Solera, I'm pretty sure this is the first time they've gotten past round number one. So this is definitely looking good for him, as Tim Clapper's sudden impact is going to pull up to the line first for this race. He's going up against Chase Sieber in Tropical Thunder. This is only the second race of round number one, and things are already heating up. And sudden impact, that thing has a 560 cubic inch motor in there. You can just feel that horsepower coming down the straightaway here. You can see sudden impact got him off the line, and when it comes to the turn, it looks like Chase maybe had a little bit of a problem, and Tim's going to pull it. Whoa, look out. Oh, man. Hang on, Sieber. Hang on. Trying to make up that ground, and he rolled it over. It's sudden impact. Look at He had so much power, he went right into that barricade there. He's all right. Wow. Both trucks were having problems. You know, Tim just got that better turn, though. Tropical Thunder had a hard time and when it came That's across great, the line. Very strong win there for Tim Clapper there. And Chase, I mean, he gave Ouch. it all he could, but, man, that truck. We'll see if we can get it back uh, for freestyle. That thing had quite a wreck. That's a nasty roll. Mr. Destruction and Jack Meredith is getting ready to pull to line, and he'll be taking on Trevor in the Avengers, second event in this truck. He had a great showing last time in Orlando. We'll see what he can do here in this race here. Jack's not going to wait out for him. Wow! It's the only turn of this J-Hook style racing. It's looking close across the finish line. Trevor Alston and Avengers gonna take the victory. Jack Meredith is knocked out of the competition first race in. This is looking good for Trevor Alston, especially after how well he did in racing in Orlando. He is looking to go towards the victory, but he also has to keep in mind that he has to probably go up against Executioner coming up. And there you have it. Round number one is over. Four trucks are in the semifinal round. Only two of them are going to be able to advance to the final. It's between Executioner, Team Mentz, Sudden Impact, and Avenger. Only two of these drivers will advance. I wonder who is going to make it. I think it's a great opportunity for Cora Solera because I mean, they haven't really proven themselves in racing, but if they can knock off Danny, this is going to be bragging rights for the rest of their career. But that's a big if. Taking on the biggest racer here tonight, Cora Solera will be taking on Danny. Cora got him off the line. Wow! That was pretty impressive. Into the turn. It's all up to the turn here. Oh, washed out. Good turn out. by Goldberg. Oh, no! Washed out a little bit. In the execution. Wow. Oh, oh, my. Whoa. That Hang on. Wow. Wow, what a wreck here. Danny looking as strong as ever, and Cora, I mean, just kind of like, you know, Chase, kind of make up that ground, but too much tire speed coming off, just a real awkward angle. And there goes that new body right there. We'll see if they can get them back for freestyle. 
Team Mint still had a really good turn, but the fact that he or they washed out, that was detrimental toward the entire race. But now, here comes the final race of the semi-final. It's Avenger and Sudden Impact! Man, you, you can just feel that in your chest right there. That power Whoa, so you guys come across the finish line close. first. Whoa. Oh, wow. What a close race. That's a big win for Tim wow. Clapper. He's coming back with a vengeance here, going for Danny's uh, racing streak here. This is a great turn for both trucks, but just that that, that horsepower must have been it. Just 560 cubic inches going way across the finish line there. Went about, about two tires. Oh. These guys these guys are putting it down so much power, you know, coming down to that final turn and that straightaway. We're at the wind down here. Executioner versus sudden impact. I mean, we've seen this race before in Mesa Park, but it was all Danny. You know, Tim Clower was kind of all over the place. He's been real tight on this course, but I think he's, he's going to be a real tough race for both trucks. Both of the biggest superstars in Monster Jam, the long game, will now go head to head for bragging rights in the racing competition. This is the final race of the night. Let's go racing! Looks like Executioner may have just slightly got him. You know, the power these two are putting into this turn. Oh my. I oh <laughs> I will I would not want to be an official right now. That's, That's gonna good. be hard <laughs> to call. Good thing I'm not either. That was a close race. That's probably the closest race of the season. Let's take a look at this again. Like I said earlier, it all comes down to this turn and these two just putting the power down into it. And it looks like executioner right, might have just oh, barely wow. got him by a tire. I could say it's a heartbreak, but I mean, there's, there's, that's probably the closest race Danny's had all season going up against Sudden Impact right there. There's no shame in that race at all. Some of the fastest superstars in Monster Jam the long game have won head, head to head in the racing competition, but Executioner Danny Werewolf will continue his racing streak, and my goodness, it's only going to get more intense from here. Freestyle is to come, but don't click off the video yet. Freestyle comes next. And you see, they're already. We're going to cut to a shot here in a second. They're already dressing this track up for freestyle. We're not wasting any time here. And like I said, no expenses were were, uh, were uh, saved. Look at that airplane there. We have a bus stack. You know, the double jump that's right next to the airplane. I mean, this is going to be a freestyle frenzy out here. I'm looking to see how these guys can throw down out here. You see we have uh, some junk cars over here too that we can crush. These trucks have a huge track to go out and have some fun on. Here is a look at tonight's freestyle order. Sudden Impact will be starting us out and ending freestyle tonight will be Executioner and Danny, tonight's racing winner. Definitely a who's who of tough freestylers. I think, you know, Tropical Thunder and El Toro Loco, I mean, uh, it looks like we're not going to have Team Mets coming back for freestyle. At least I'm not sure. They might have just broken that truck too badly. And now here comes our freestyle full-on. Jack Meredith and Mr. Destruction has been consistently in second place throughout the freestyle competitions this season. Is this the event that'll snap it for a place at number one? Trevor Alston is looking to put on a run here in Tampa after not performing as well as he wanted to in Orlando when initially debuting Avenger. To do so, he's going to put out how he's going to have to put up some big numbers for the judges to even outrake some of the best freestylers in the series. And once again, we see Tim Clapper's sudden impact. He's going to be starting the freestyle competition, and my my, is he a great freestyler? Hot off the heels of that racing loss, I mean, it, it, it just seems like it's kind of a backhanded compliment, but it was it was still great. He, if he can if he can win a freestyle here, that'll mean a heck of a lot. He had a great run. Mason. Nice, sir. He knows he's going out first. He knows what he has to do to get that early lead and possibly oh, win. Oh, my. Oh, he knows oh. dives it. That was that. a hard hit. That's wow. the thing held together there. Nice. Big air. Will we clear is that? He's still going. He's going to cross thread the, uh, the two crush cars we have down there at the end of the track. And, you know, he knows he has to go out there and put on a high number to take this early lead and possibly the win. And, you know, he's doing so right now. Hitting everything from all angles. Tim Clapper, sudden impact. He's doing a really nice job to start. Nice little wheelie down the opposite side. That was really creative wow. there. I like that, where he kind of undershot it so he could smack the front of that truck up in the air and ride it out with that horsepower of his. He's using the time very nicely. He's definitely putting on a, a oh. great run. Huge wheelie for sudden impact. He's, he's putting on a great run. This is... Uh, definitely could get a high number if he can finish it off strong and with some the huge longevity air. of that air just under 30 seconds remains on the clock he's doing a really nice job he's really setting the bar high there's six other competitors to go leave him some room for the lead he's hitting everything at every angle here i think he's really got a great feel for this track and this oh track. no 
There's just a few seconds left on the clock. That's nice. some <laughs> serious elevation right there. Walks it, walks oh, it. Oh boy! No. Un Get it back up. That's it. Oh no! Tough break for sudden impact. Right at the end of the clock. I don't think the judges are gonna cost him there. I mean, they're supposed to deduct for not being able to fill the clock, but other than that, this was a stellar run by Tim Clapper in Sudden Impact. Probably the best that we've seen him, in, seen him this entire season. This really right here, this was a really nice move. Something that you don't really see often, people slowing down and hitting everything from all angles. Usually someone would have just basically cleared that entire jump. This run was just really nice. Tim Clapper, Sudden Impact doing a really nice job. The air in this run was stellar, but here is where the problem began. Right there, you know, he just pulled it into a wheelie, and I guess the truck is just a little caddy wop is coming off the bus, and that just caused him to roll, get it up on one wheel. You know, I feel like that might be a little bit low of a score, but I'm, I think if the judges are consistent, then it won't be won't be seem too bad, but that's at least broken at 20. Oh, man. Chase Sieber in Tropical Thunder with some huge air. Sieber's announcing his presence here at Raymond James Stadium. He's coming back with a vengeance after rolling over in the racing competition. He wants the freestyle win. You no, know, he had a huge crash, and to see him come back is really surprising. And right now he's putting on a wow, great nice start one. with some huge air into a nice wheelie. No fear for that bus. You know, Chase, uh, he's, he's definitely kind of an up and down freestyler. Uh -oh. uh, Something's wrong. Let's see what's going to go on here. Uh oh. Is the truth. Can't tell if the truck is shut off or not. They've paused the, the clock. Truck is still, oh, nope. But now the it's truck, off. Oh, he got it fired back up. There's something weird going on there with the truck. Maybe it's an electrical problem. Who knows? Po po possibly an electrical problem. Maybe he had a hard time, you know. Maybe something with the transmission. It was on for a couple of seconds, though. And then it shut off. Oh, man. That'll wow. start the clock again. Tears through the mud there. there possibly some transmission problems or maybe an engine problem. Just under a minute remains. After that, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's some big air. And that that was a great landing. He landed right in the mud. That was kind of a soft landing for him too. And whoa, whoa. Yeah. whoa, look at this. You know, he he knows the truck's broken already. He's gonna break it even more. He's not afraid to tear up this equipment. Chase, I keep I keep saying he's he's definitely in need of a breakout performance. I think that we're seeing it right here. Uh -oh. this, he's just airing nice. this thing out right now. Good he does, he's not scared of what uh, is going to happen in this truck. He's just going to put on a run. That's all Going he wants. Reverse. Nah, just may as well put a reverser. You've done everything oh else you can oh, do. No. Uh oh. Oh, how about that? Can he save it? How about that? Oh, for nope, an they're going to shut right him up there. there. There's your photo opportunity. Sticks it on the nose. That'll end just, the run. Just listen to these fans. Oh, fans love it. Yeah, I think I think especially after last time in Orlando, he rolled over really, really, really. For him to come back here and have some, you know, he has had a, a few up and down performances this season in freestyle. This is really what he needed, and I think this is really fantastic. He knew that truck was already broken after uh, it stomped at the end of the track. There, we weren't sure what happened, but I think it got him a little mad. I think that's what happened to me when, yeah, he, when he, he went mad. He uh, he just wanted to tear that truck up after that happened. He knew he the already broke some assault. equipment of that kind of air was just insane. A 21 is going to be a score. Not bad of a run at all. Although the momentum loss, you know, it didn't affect his score too bad. Oh yeah, it's big guns time. Develop Terra and El Toro Loco is hitting the track next. And he had a great save last week in uh, Orlando. That, that freestyle save was just wild. Every truck had a great save that night, but that was one of the better ones. That had to be a contender for save of the year. Crazy Bulls about to put on a crazy run right here. I can already tell you that one. Looks like he's lining up for this double jump here. I mean, it makes you wonder, those guys nailed that jump so much in the first two runs. How's he going to be able to get more air than they did? He's going to have to set it up, you know, further back. Maybe get some more power down. Going right to the, uh, the dumpsters. Didn't hit him, though. Huge Big air. air. Good, a and wheelie. he gets a wheelie. He completely cleared it. He did clear it. I think that's the, that's the standard for that, that jump right now. He's gonna gas it at the bus. Oh nice my! Wow! Air. Look at the air. Into a wheelie. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. no! No! Same. Not what he the wanted. same corner. Same thing. The same corner. That happened to sudden impact. Just happened to El Toro Loco. A little too much power. You're right. That is the same corner as racing, and I can tell you, he didn't want to go over that early. But I mean. That's, that's the thing about that bus. I think now, now we're seeing it. Those vans right there, there's not a lot of structural integrity, so that bus is catching you every single time you go over, especially from that side. And just kind of put too much put too much juice on that wheelie and roll. Wow. 
still, a lot of these drivers are putting a lot of power into that bus. And now comes Jack Meredith, Mr. Destruction. Is this the event that he's going to take oh, place number my. one on the freestyle board? And with air like that? Speaking of power over a bus, there it is. I'm not quite sure. I'd, uh, I don't want to go ahead and say it out, but I think that was some Whoa. of the biggest air we've seen tonight. It's definitely a, a long list of big air for tonight. That pogo right there in the mud. <laughs> nice. Right now, he's just he's going aggressive. He wants the win. He's tired of coming in, num in number two. He wants to come in number one this time. There's just a minute left on the clock. He's filling it really nicely. He's hitting everything. He's going for the cars at the other end of the track. Into oh, yeah. a wheelie. Nice job. There we go. Oh, uh -oh. no. Uh -oh. oh, no. Can he save it? What a save. Oh, Are you kidding gosh. me, Meredith? He spun it on the roof on top of that jump, and I hope they're going to let him go there. They will. The, the laws of gravity don't apply when Jack Meredith and Mr. Destruction hits the track, automatically attacking Man. the bus. Look at that <laughs> air. Wow. I, I think that is definitely the biggest air so far tonight. Maybe another wheelie off of those cars. cars. Again. With a nice wheelie walking it across the track. Oh, okay. oh my. Oh. Dragged it through the mud right there. Just under 30 seconds left. How can he cap off the run for the judges? Oh, nice that's one. something you don't see every day. On top oh, of the on bus! Top, on bus? top of the bus! Are you kidding me? No way. He's breaking all the rules now, if there were any. That was a huge uh -oh. move for Jack, and again, cross-threading it over the bus. Whoa. What a Hang save. on, Meredith, hang on! He got out of bounds, though. Oh, they didn't shut him off. He's gonna no. keep going with just two seconds left. Can he put something big right here? And yes, he is, with the nice that's the end of the run. Let's see how he ends this thing. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! What a move! Violent crash! Oh, that was that was a move. All oh! Right. Look at the there's, there's plenty of highlights to look at here. This is a great run. I think that this is definitely a characteristic where it just goes all kinds of different places, just cutting the course and all kinds of different pieces. And this save here, I mean, we saw the save at Mesa. We saw this one. This is gonna definitely gonna top it. Look at this. Spins it on top of that jump. And then it lets gravity do all the work here, bring it back down. That was just an insane save. Definitely save of the night so far from what we've seen. And that error is just insane. Just sending it across the stadium floor. The assault of air from Jack Meredith and Mr. Destruction was a plenty in this run. The scores were already in I by love the time that he did right this incredible here. flip. And wow. Oh man. Looks like He's the back the tire just too. clipped the bus. Nice! A 25 is going to be a score. Meredith's in the hot seat, but we still got a couple to go. And before we did freestyle, we had a little bit of a demolition derby. A little keep the fans, uh, <laughs> keep the fans oh, entertained. Wow. And uh, you can already see these guys do not hold back. Wow. We talk about freestyle not holding <laughs> back. This is just carnage oh. and carnage. All kinds of old beaters here getting ripped apart here. Oh. And just so f fun fact, oh. those cars, that uh, gray one there, that's one that's on the track right now. That's the one that is uh, right where those cars are smashing each other up. And uh, I'd be proud of that carnage too. <laughs> wow. Now Avenger. I keep saying that trouble looks mean it is. Real low center of gravity, a lot of power, a lot of control here. Looking forward to see. I mean, we've seen so many guys just throw all cautions to the wind and put on some great performances here so far tonight. We'll see what he can do in that truck. Especially because Trevor Alston is behind the wheel of this machine, you're bound to get a good freestyle. Short or long, he's going to do something that's going to make you tilt your head and go, what did he just do? We saw a great save last time in Orlando. He, he spun it around on the tail, whether it was on purpose or not. That was really impressive, and we saw you know, all kinds of different moves in that show. Oh, wow. Now, I think the, the last show was the save show. This is the air show. Vertical ascent from Trevor Alston in Avenger. Wow! Yes. Long air. Right now, just putting in an aggressive run. To... He's going for the cars. Slowing down. Cars. That could slow the momentum. Well, it looks like he... I, I don't know how much air he can get off this car here. Is he? I think he's trying to go for a wheelie again. Yeah, he's going to. Walk in the truck. Riding it into the mud? Are oh. you kidding me? Move of the night for Avenger. Move of the year. Move of You've the year. You've got to be joking. Meredith. What do you want me have to you say? seen this? What do you want me to say? Have you seen this? If I'm him right now, if I'm him right now, I would be nervous because Austin's putting on a great run and he's only got 20 seconds left. Now he's just full throttle across the stadium, doesn't oh care what happens gosh. to that truck. Oh my That was goodness. That was the most insane move 
I mean, we saw a Mr. Destruction kind of set that up where he dragged the tail through the mud. Maybe that gave him the idea to try something weird. I, I talked about the tailspin last time in Orlando, and I can't even believe what we just saw. That might be the, the new leader. <laughs> no, other than that move, the run was a little bit slow. Maybe just running a little bit cautious with that planned. I, I would hope he had it planned. He'll, he'll tell you he had it planned, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, we'll see a replay of it here right, right, uh, right now. This this is just incredible. This, it's just the ingenuity. I, 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 I don't get it. How how do you do that? I don't get it. How, do you, how does one defy gravity like that in mud? Spinning like a twister on the back of the truck. What a move. You... You don't do that, but he's got the lead! A 27 will be a score. Wow. Well, for our collision decision tonight, the one person who couldn't make it to freestyle is Cora Solera and Team Mintz rolling over in racing. In our jammer question, who was the first truck to roll over in racing anyways? Answer below, and we'll give you a shout out in the next video. Most likely a prize, who knows? Pretty cool prize, if I do say so myself. Last for freestyle here tonight is your racing winner. Can he pull a freestyle win in Executioner? Let's see what Danny can do. It's been the story this season where Danny does great in freestyle, but he can't fill the time. That's what happened to Orlando. At Wawa, I, I hope it's not a fluke, but we'll see what happens here. He nails those crush Oh, man. Goals. Right, he's about to go aggressive. Oh, oh nice. my. What a wheelie. Nice. It's kind of pulled Mr. Destruction there, land in the mud. <gasps> oh no, oh, man! No. Oh no! Oh man. That's Come gonna on, end get executioner. It. Oh. Man, that was too No hard. way. The bus just claimed its second victim, and that, its third victim is definitely the biggest of them all. Didn't even get past the 30 second mark on the time. That is detri that's gonna be detrimental towards his score. Danny Wolf and Executioner not getting the lead tonight. It's gonna be a 10 for him. He has a heart wow. break for, for the points leader. And Trevor Alston, how about that? He gets another freestyle win in what has to be his most memorable one yet this season with a move that is just indescribable. Now we had a very, very big freestyle competition here tonight. And same with racing, you know, all these guys just went out strong, laid it out all on the track. Trevor Alston takes the victory in the freestyle competition. Congratulations to our winners and thanks for tuning in for Monster Jam, the long game. Please enjoy the jam.